Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor, and in the fishing part of my blog this week, I'm doing overnighters. I love spending a night out at the water's edge. I've just arrived, and it was one of those days when it was quite showery at times. So the first thing I did, got the shelter up. The temptation is to get the rods out there. Same for me, that's what I normally do. But when showers are passing through, the last thing you want is your bait soaked, your sleeping bag wet, etc. So avoid that temptation and get the shelter up. As it was, it worked out fantastic. When the rain did come down, everything was in here nice and dry. Don't mind me, that's okay, but the bait, especially the pellets and so on and so forth. Anyway, this is my rig I'm about to cast out right now. I'll show you that. I've got a hook length of about eight inches. That's the maximum, really, that I'll go for in these sort of conditions and the sort of fishing that I'm doing. I'm fishing pop-ups as you can see there they're corn shaped boilies I've got a size six hook I've got a braided hook length a shot there to create the pop-up effect obviously if you don't have a shot it will go straight up in the air I've got a system there that fits over the swivel and the lead has to be fixed as you can see but it needs to be safe that's important because in the unlikely event of a break above that if that lead isn't gonna come off safely then the fish will be towing it around that's bad so what I've got I've got it very very gentle actually most of the times I reel in I have to push it back I've got a five mil bead and a power gum knot just over that so in the very very unlikely event that I should get a break above the line can't remember when that happened last if ever it's just one of those things that doesn't happen as long as you keep checking your line and so on then that will just come off and that's what you call a safe rig that's very very important I'm fishing a PVA bag I'm putting pellets in there I'm soaking and dipping the hook bait and I'm putting some corn shaped boilies sinkers of course in with the PVA bag and then I'm spotting out lots of pellets lots of corn and the waiting game then begins. And one of the things that you can read about in this week's blog is the mother of all diets. And you'll find out why I'm on exactly that. And my Banksite cuisine this evening, forget the bacon, sausage, eggs, etc. that a lot of anglers have. Well, I'm a vegetarian anyway, so that wouldn't be for me would it but what am I eating this evening well it's food that a rabbit would die for and that will keep me healthy I caught nothing at all during that night I went back same venue same peg and again I blanked but third time lucky as they say I think I definitely took the camcorder out on the wrong session because I then got amongst the fish, as you can see from the photographs on the screen. Anyway, check out the written blog that accompanies this short video. Also, you'll find out how Park Hall, that's the home of the New Saints, Park Hall became a church. What's all that about? Well, go to the comments box here on YouTube and follow the link. I'll be back next week, perch fishing for me, out and about yourself, Tight lines.